Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about study medicine in Germany. It's a very unique opportunity for international students to complete the medicine studies or complete the MBBS degree without paying any tuition fee in Germany. So in this video we will talk about some general information that you as a student should know when you select Germany uh, for studying medicine. Then we will go through how the medicine studies or MBBS degree is uh, structured. And in the end, we will talk about the requirements and application process for medicine. So let's go through the general information first. As I talked earlier, there is absolutely no tuition fee for the whole degree. You complete, you study medicine free of cost and you get a medic, uh, MBBS degree at the end. The medium of instruction is German. That is a bit challenging, but considering the benefit that you are getting without paying any tuition fee, you are going to become a doctor. But you have to study in German language. And how you can learn and what German language requirements are there, we will talk about in the end. Now the next, point is duration. It's uh, in Germany, the duration of MBBS is either six years, some universities have six years and three months, some universities have six years and five, uh, six months. So it's uh, vary from six years to 6.5 years. And we will see how it is divided in further uh, when we talk about the structure of uh, medicine studies. Uh, the next point is there are approximately 35 public universities where you can study medicine free of cost in Germany. All these uh, 35 universities are offering medicine free of cost. Now, the foreign applicants have only 5% of the seats. It means if there are 100 seats at one particular university, the 5% or the five seats are reserved for foreign applicants. So you have to um, have a very tough competition because people from all over the uh, world will apply and you have to face a very high competition. Therefore, you have to have a very good academic uh, re uh, record and you have to fulfill all the requirements that we will talk in the end. Now, when you can start your studies, there are two intakes, winter intake and summer intake or a winter semester or, or a summer semester. Now, it depends on university. Uh, some university has winter intake only. It means there is only one intake. Some universities have only summer intake and some universities have summer and winter intake. So uh, we will go through um, each university in the next videos and we will see uh, which university has which intake. Now the deadline again is different for different universities. Not all this, uh, the universities which have summer intake have the same in, uh, deadline. It's also not a must that all the universities which are starting their medicine or MBBS studies, they have the same deadline. So deadlines or also different uh, depending on the selected university. So now let's talk about the structure of medicine or how the MBBS degree is composed of. Now it is divided into three different phases. The first phase is called preclinical studies, which consists of two years or divided into four semesters. And at the end of four semester or two year, you take oral and written exams and you have to pass these exams so that you can go to the next phase of um, degree, which is called the clinical studies. Now the clinical studies consists of six semester, which is divided into three years. At the end of this uh, phase, there are also written exams and you have to pass the written exams so that you go for the next or the last phase of the studies, which is the practice year, where you practice for one year. And at the end of this 
phase, there are again oral and written exams, and you have to pass all the three phases uh, so that you can um, get, uh, get your degree. Now, what are the requirements? The requirements for medicine in Germany are very tough. We have divided the requirements into three different types. The first type is academic and you have to have very good marks or grades or percentage, whatever you have at your schooling, school leaving certificate in order to qualify uh, for admission in medicine in Germany. So there are some school leaving certificates which are accepted for direct admission in the medicine like A-levels or the British curriculum. There are some school leaving certificates from certain countries which are not considered equivalent with the German school leaving certificates and such students are required to take uh, different um, measures like foundation course for example or some other uh, way there is one video uh, regarding some of the curriculums uh, that I, uh, that we have prepared and I will put a link in the subscription so that you can see uh, how you can check whether you are eligible to apply for medicine in Germany directly or you have to upgrade your education in order to become eligible to apply for medicine in Germany. So when you have 90% um, or above marks in your 12th grade certificate or higher secondary school certificate or American high school diploma or A-levels, if your grades are all A's in all the subjects, then it's a possibility that you will be getting admission in medicine in Germany. Now, those students who whose uh, school leaving certificate is con not considered equivalent with the German school leaving certificate and they choose for the student colleague, they must have very high um, grades in the Feststellungsprüfung, which is an exam conducted after the completion of student colleague. There are other videos on student colleague. I will put the link of these videos uh, also in the description of this video so that you can know what it what is student colleague and what are the uh, subjects that you have to study during the student colleague now remember that if your marks or percentage is less than 90 percent you are on the borderline you have very low chances of getting admission therefore you try for this um, medicine in Germany only if your marks or percentage is more than 90%. The next is language requirement. Language as it is the medicine, the whole study will be in German language. Therefore, there are uh, you have to learn German language and there are different uh, tests through which you can prove the proficiency of German language. There is one exam called DSH and there is another exam which is called test BAF. Now, I have made a video about both exams so you can check the details of these exams, what a DSH2 means or what a DSH3 means. Uh, but the, the language requirement varies from university to university. Some universities ask for DSH2 and some universities ask for DSH3. Similarly for test of some universities ask score of four in all four sections, which means speaking, reading, listening, and writing. You have to come up with four. Or in some universities, it's they have very high requirements regarding language as well, and they ask for five score in all the four sections, which means five into four here. Now, the next set of requirements is I have named it additional requirements. Now, these there are requirements in addition to like, uh, academic requirements and language requirements, like some universities ask for test AS. Uh, it's an exam that is required for from the foreign students if they want to apply for medicine in Germany. 
and you can visit the website of test as uh, to get further information what it is about and how it is conducted uh, the test as can be conduct uh, can be taken in your home country also usually the goethe institutes uh, also can in your home country can conduct uh, this test as uh, therefore you must not come to germany in order to take this exam uh, and with the passage of time more and more universities are uh, asking for this test as exam therefore when we we make the videos regarding each individual university we will see whether this university require test as and if it requires what score it is uh, they are asking for now, now the next um, set uh, three require uh, three uh, points are just to make your uh, chances higher in getting admission into medicine uh, degree because you have seen that uh, you have only 5% of seats and you uh, have have to face a very high competition because students from all over the world will come uh, apply and you have to compete with very competitive students therefore it's very recommended that you complete a, any training related to human medicine or dentistry depending on whether you are going for human medicine or you are going for dentistry if you include this proof whether it is of two months or four months or six months it doesn't matter but you must have this um, have taken some training so that you stand out or your application stand out um, when during the evaluation process now if you have any practical activity done related to human medicine or dentistry that would be a very plus point for your application similarly any any volunteer work or certification which is related to human medicine and that you have done after your 12th grade or during your your 11th or 12th grade or during your as level or a level um, that will be having a very positive impact on your selection and regarding the uh, application process since the application process is different for each university i haven't listed it here what is the application process what are the documents because the documents and application process for each university is different therefore i will be making new videos on uh, application process for individual universities where we will discuss how is the application process what are the documents you have to prepare how you have to get the documents attested etc etc so i hope now you have a clear picture of um, how you should prepare yourself if you want to apply for medicine in germany if you have any queries questions you can put these question in the comment section and we will discuss these thank you for watching the video if you like the video share it with your friends so that all people all students who are interested in studying medicine um, without tuition fee can ben can be benefited from it Thank you.